Bonjour, madame and monsieur. And this is the view during the daylight, just shortly after I've woken up. Complete contrast from the nighttime, but look at that, this is wow. And in the distance there, up on the hill, is the Basilique Notre Dame de la Garde and the tower there, Place d'Armes. So we're going to check out some, if not all, of those when we leave the apartment later today. It is an absolutely beautiful day here in Marseille. The temperature is around 13 Celsius, but it seems a lot warmer because the sun is right in my face. So we're going to start off exploring the city during daylight hours in Le Panier, where I'm at, where I'm staying at, where the apartment is. So I'm going to show you the sights and sounds of what this beautiful place has to offer. that racket was coming from but it appears to be a school and some lovely street art actually this area is famed for its street art and graffiti so that could be why a lot of people may feel threatened by more the graffiti side because it does look a little bit sketchy well it can make the place a bit sketchy like for example here but it's all part and parcel of the artistry here wow look at that that reminds me of that British street artist. I've forgotten the name of him, but I'll put it in the caption below. Well, it looks like whales are on the agenda here. Is that the blue whale? This could be an environmental piece of art. Get out the way. <laughs> see the stark contrast between this graffiti and this wonderful street art but it's all subjective obviously and don't quote me on this but Ville de Marseille I think that's the town hall there and you see an epic plaza in front of you with that early afternoon sunlight glistening on it and just in the distance there way in the background that's a view port the old port with the yachts on it and just behind me a moment ago as i went down those steps that's the hotel dieu a very impressive building i must say One thing I've noticed as well, on the sides of the streets, they love their plants. And that's another reason why this place is absolutely gorgeous. Johnny. This street, Rue del Boulot, looks interesting. 
So we'll do a quick walk through here because this graffiti looks very colorful and cheerful. So my aim of my vlogs is to make you all feel happy. <laughs> so I like to think hopefully this might perk you up with all the bright colors and we're right in the middle of january did i say today is friday the 13th and it's also my birthday <laughs> and it's almost never ending because to my left that's a view and to my right there's even more so let's go this way it's never ending this art is never ending but it's still beautiful nonetheless and I must say it's been a very long time since I've seen sky as blue as this maybe in Madeira it is the middle of January so I'll take it and it looks like some kind of zumba class or something going on there or some other dance routine making use of the space available <laughs> I must say the outside of this house is very green and earthy even though it looks as if it's falling apart but I love it. And just when I turn this corner Voila, Cathedral de Meja, the big main cathedral here in Marseille, which you would have seen earlier or last night in my vlog when it was dark, but that was because I arrived yesterday evening just after 6 p.m. local time. The cathedral is actually built on the old site, which is right there in front of me, and that is a few hundred years older than the main section there. So that's the Cathedral de Meja behind me, and right in front of me here this is a first for me my first ever daylight glance of the mediterranean in front of me there just to the right of that cruise ship i think it's going to corsica and you can see some of the marseille skyline there and then back to the cathedral that is such an impressive sight that cathedral Wow, I'll put some information in the captions about it in the drone footage which follows. Side of the cathedral something artistic going on I wonder what it is so it looks like they're printing these photos and pasting them onto the ground and it comes from that big camera right there in front of us so if there's a camera around you're sure to find me so let's have a closer look so it appears people go into that booth there and they sit down, have their photo taken and it comes out moments later at the side there on that big poster size print. And so for more information it's Inside Out Project and there's the web address there at the bottom of that lens. So here's the entrance of the cathedral. I'm gonna have a gander at it. I'm gonna go inside now and have a closer look. That is if they let me in. <laughs> is it open? Oh, I see a door to the left which is open. And some grand red doors marking the entrance to the cathedral. So a 
I better keep my voice down. And as soon as I enter, there is serene quietness. I'd better whisper. This can be the soundtrack to it. And look at that ceiling there, wow. And just look at that light streaming through the top there. I guess the nativity display was so good that they kept it open beyond Christmas. And here's a miniature model of the cathedral enclosed in this glass case. observation about this place is that it is absolutely magnificent I mean there's places like this throughout Europe which you would pay to get in but this is mind-blowingly free so if you're in Marseille you really do have to check it out oh my goodness even though if you're not a Christian still it is wow This is the old part of the cathedral. I'm not sure if you can actually get into it, but as you can see, there's the main cathedral. And as you enter through the front, you'll see it to the right. So I'm gonna walk around it, see if I can get inside, but if not, no loss because I have enjoyed myself in the main section. But in the meantime, I'll show you what to expect if ever you visit here of the rustic ruins of this ancient building from, it could predate Middle Ages, but I'll put information about it in the captions as per usual. And I don't think you can get in from the looks of things. And just near the base of the cathedral, as you can see, is a big orange teddy offering free hugs. <laughs> so I guess someone has to do it. He has to give me a free hug because after all, it is my birthday and it looks like I'm not gonna get any cake later today, but this will be better than cake any day. <laughs> And there's some information about it in French. So if any of you know Francais, do the usual hit the pause button and read it in your own time. Now I just have to wait for bus number 60, which will take me to Basilique Notre Dame de la Garde, which is the big church you can see on the hill for miles around. And I'm gonna go there for sunset. And whilst I was waiting, I'll give you a pano view around the place, because it's quite a scenic bus stop too. There's the Cathedral de Maja, And there's a couple of museums here, waterside 
and there's actually a walkway if you could see which takes you through there to that tower and continues on over there you can see beyond my bus stop and we're actually at Promenade Louis Bronquier. And if you look on the wall above that sign, there's a Space Invader. And I believe there's a few of those dotted around the city on various walls and that. That geezer's even found himself on the side of a bus in Marseille. He's everywhere. <laughs> there's bus number 60, Notre Dame de la Garde. Basilique de la Garde, not I'm getting it wrong. Basilique Notre Dame de la Garde, okay. And I almost forgot the piece de resistance, the view from this apartment on the third floor. It's 